I got two and a half years left with my son before he goes to college, okay? And I told him, you guys have to build a house before you go to college because I want you guys to go to college with $250,000 in your bank account, okay? I'm not, daddy's not gonna buy it, build it for you. But my son is 15 years old, he turned 16, he's just, he's getting his driver's license right now. He needs a credit card. He didn't have a credit card yet. He had a debit card, but not a credit card. So we took him to the bank the other day and I said, let's get a credit card. Let's get all your stuff set up because you're gonna have your own driver's license here in the next few weeks. And when I talked to them at the bank, I said, okay, we need to get him a construction loan on his first house. Where, who do we talk to to get him a construction loan? I'm not, I was gonna finance it for him. And I said, you know what, that'd be bad because I'm doing him a disservice. Let's let him deal with the banks, not daddy. Because if he deals with daddy, guess what? If he doesn't do it, if daddy will bail your ass out, man. It's like, you know, you know, beat them, but you're like, damn kid, man. But reality is they get away with murder with us, you know, and they're your babies. So you take care of them in spite of you wanting to beat them for every once in a while for doing it, right? So the reality is, as I said, he's gonna deal with a bank. And so we're gonna get him a construction loan. So I've been looking for lots. I don't want him to know that I'm tying up lots. So what I'd land up doing is I said, I'll tie, I'll land up tying up the lots on a delayed close, but we're gonna write these things out where he has to go. We're gonna go drive around on a Saturday. I also want to give thanks to my dad for, for letting us get up here. I get nervous when I come up here, but I like, I like coming up here and talking and listening to what he has to say. A lot of people ask me what I want to be when I grow up, and I don't really know. I don't really know what I want to be. People, I want to kind of do what my dad does, but I kind of want to write my own legacy a little bit too. But um, watching my dad come up on stage, it's, just, it's kind of surreal just if, when you really think about it, because I've been there to the job sites and when it was just dirt, and I remember seeing tubes coming out the ground, asking him, what, what are those? And he's like, this is our house. This is what we're going to make money from. And I, I could have comprehended at the time, but the more and more I really got to watch my dad and how hard of a worker he is, it's amazing. It's one of the greatest things you could really see. Because this, my dad, he's the least tech savvy person probably in the room right now. He'd, he can't figure out his left to his right on a phone. So how he was able to grow social media and do stuff like that is, it's spectacular. It's something that I can't even really explain. It's just, it shows the hard work and how much I try to follow him because there's, it's watching him put his head down and go to work, it's, it's amazing. It's, it's one of the greatest things um, I've ever seen. So give a round of applause for my dad. Another thing that I try to pride myself on with um, where I am right now is grades. Um, without good grades, I mean, you can't, I can't do anything without good grades. I have dreams to play Division One football and go play for a big school, but if I can't, if I can't make it scholastically, um, what am I doing it for? Because there's a life outside of football. And that's, that's the main thing that I started thinking about lately is what am I gonna do when I'm not in shape? What am I gonna do when I'm, if I'm hurt? What am I gonna do if situations like that come up where, um, it's not going to be all suns and rainbows. Um, I need to have my brain because you keep your brain forever. You never, you don't keep your body in shape, in tune forever. You keep your brain forever. So what you have in the school room is priceless. So um, I take even more than what I've done with football and with anything. I take pride in having a 4.0 GPA. So that's something that I'm proud of having. Thank you. So that's something that um, I, I take pride in because last year I struggled with school. Last year, it was my first year in really regular school. Um, and it took me a long time to adjust. I, had, I was struggling. I had two Ds to start off the year last year, going into winter break. And uh, my mom and my dad, they were both just sit down with me and just support me, just understand that, it, that I worked as hard as I can. I just, I couldn't grasp the hang of it. But the more and more I put my head down and I said, this year, I'm going to make it a, because of my GPA last year, I'm going to make it a, like, it's going to for sure happen that I'm going to have a 4.0 GPA. And uh, I've had a 4.0 GPA. So that's, that's what I pride myself on. So that's what I'm really happy about. My name is Jada Maldonado. I'm 12 years old. And today I'm going to be talking about change because over the last year, my life has changed significantly and it's the best it's ever been. So last year, I was at a totally different place in gymnastics, and 
it wasn't bad, but it was definitely hard and mentally it was really hard. But I'm in a I'm in a way better place now with a lot of uh, better coaches and better teammates and everything. So I was at Gold Cup for more than 10 years of my life and it was good until the last two years I was there. I lost one of my great coaches and ever since I lost her, it's been really hard to get back. So I told my mom one day that I just wanted to move gyms because I couldn't take the mental abuse from it anymore. So she moved me gyms the next day, and I showed up to practice the following Wednesday, I think it was. And um, I moved to AGS, and it's been amazing since I've been there. Another thing that I started was cheerleading. I started it about two months before I left my old gym, and it's been great ever since I started. It's it's a lot of fun. It's definitely hard. Cheerleading is not how you probably think it is. It's hard hard on your body and hard definitely mentally, but it's a lot of fun. Another thing that changed is I was homeschooled for two years, and homeschooling wasn't the uh, something that I enjoyed. It was harder for me to learn. It was just really loud at home, but I moved to Hope Christian this year and it's been amazing um i have great teachers great friends and i love everyone there it's been a great time over the past quarter that i've been there for and everyone there is just amazing so i just hope that you guys learn something by coming to my dad's event because you have to be able to go through the challenge because if you avoid the challenge, you'll never be successful. And you, ha you have to keep trying because you won't ever be successful in life if you don't try to get through something that's hard.